Another evening here with High Plains Wing Shooters in Wyoming doing another scout and just wanted to talk real quick kind of how the scout works out here in Wyoming. Uh, here at High Plains we're hunting out of pits and what you need the most to be able to scout and to see this wide open country of Wyoming are a good set of binos. These are the Viper 10x50s. This is my favorite pair of binos and we're basically using these to watch these birds come off their roost areas along the river and see which direction they're flying and which roost they're coming from. You're running a lot of traffic out here, so not only are you looking for feeds and where the birds want to congregate, but you also want to watch flight lines. So a good way to do that is we're kind of parked in an area where we can see a vast majority of the area that we want to watch. And we'll sit here, watch with binos, watch the birds get up off the roost. Like I said, their flight lines, the direction of flight, and what fields they're going to. Very important on a scout like this, and any scout really, is to have a good set of binos. There may be birds that are flying that you can't see with your bare eyes, and if you'll park and take the time to scan the horizon, you may see a big feed or a big flight line that you didn't see with your bare eyes. So, love our Vortex Vipers, uh, the Razors. I know Logan and Ronnie are running the Razors. Binos are very important for scouting, and uh, there actually is a very good flight line right now exactly where we want to go check out. So we're gonna hop in the truck, get a little closer look, and uh, continue the scout. So just wanted to touch base on our use of optics for a scout and why they're so important to us. We're uh, day three at uh, High Plains Wing Shooters in Torrington, Wyoming. It's a little colder today. We're, I think we're, I think we were 14 degrees on the way into the field. Still plenty of snow on the ground, so decoys are gonna stand out really well. Uh, we're, we're really light on the wind this morning, so we're gonna kinda do something similar to what we did the first morning where we're just gonna run kind of a loose X pattern. Not a real defined X, but we're gonna give them a couple different pockets they can work into all the pocket centering on the pit. Uh, so as long as the birds get in here, there's tons of tracks in here. There's actually deer tracks in here too, but tons of tracks in here from the geese. So they've obviously been here since we got the snow. Uh, so it should be a good morning. We'll hopefully 500s this morning. So 25 is the limit. We're going to set the bar high. It's been a good trip so far. Let's keep it going. Who gets to win the $2 bet? That's a Q. That's $2 bet to Q. Q1? You got it. Congratulations, Q. Well, he ate it. Good call. Yeah, that was good. He looked really good. I thought he was going to want to sit over there, and then he hit him just right on that corner, and he said it just perfect. <laughs> I kind, of, I kind of felt like that was a little bit out there, but I was like, yeah, okay, we'll go. We're, uh, I don't even know what time it is now. Uh, a little after 9, 9, maybe even pushing 9.30. A little slow start today. Sleepy geese, they're just not moving off the water yet. We've had a couple of volleys kind of come through and look, but just no wind, cold day, bright sun, clear skies kind of, so they're going to sit tight. We're thinking maybe, maybe kind of an 11, 12 o'clock shoot today. Uh, but they're working. The ones that are doing it are doing it well. So, as long as we keep shooting the way we're shooting right now, we should still have a solid, or not maybe not a limit, but solid day by the time we're done. Oh, that's how you do it on the first shot. Sorry, I didn't get him on the first shot. Oh, you're good. That no. bird you just brought back? Four-man limit. We're done. Limit. It might have taken till uh, 
till almost one o'clock. Yeah, 10 minutes left. <clears throat> we got 10 minutes left. What is it, Aaron? Just Wednesdays and Fridays? What's that? That you can only hunt till one? You can hunt till one, or the only days you can hunt all day is Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so you can only hunt all day on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So we had to stop at one. It's like 12.50 or so. And we just shot into our last group. Got our four man limit. It was a, it was one of those days where we pretty much it's another shot single all singles, yeah. right? Yeah. We're dealing with no wind. The birds are spinning around funny, but hard finishing the bigger groups. Yeah. When there's I think no that wind. was that last group we shot into was the was biggest the group. Biggest of the day. Yeah. Yep. Another awesome day here at High Plains. We're gonna pick this up, and man, three days in a row. I love it. Yeah. I'm all about Good it. Job, man. Yeah.